Simply Betty here. Last week, I asked the community, what project should I focus on next? And the general consensus of everybody in the comments was that I should focus on this terrarium behind me, this DIY terrarium that I made like a month ago. I should just complete it, just have it done and have that satisfaction of just completing a project and getting it out of the way because it's the one that's gonna take the least amount of time. It's gonna be the easiest. So I'm gonna do it. Once this terrarium is finished and my new little family member gecko is put inside, then I can move on to more fish projects and everybody likes that. I made this terrarium about a month ago. This was a sponsored video where I was sent a vision cage. Vision cages are really lightweight plastic enclosures that are really customizable and I was sent one to so I could just have a lot of fun with it and make a video. And I jumped on board because that means I can add a new gecko to my house. I had a lot of fun making it too. I'll put the link to the video here. I did a custom background, like I built all of this with a whole lot of foam and I even sculpted all of those rocks you see in here. And it was a lot of work, but I really liked the result. I think it just turned out so cool. It ended up looking great. As much as I wanted to add my new gecko to this enclosure at the end of the video to just like finish the video and finish the project and show this new little creature, I, I couldn't. At that time, she didn't have a clean bill of health yet, but thanks to a couple visits to the vet and some TLC, she is doing great and I think I'm finally ready to add her to the new enclosure. I ended up adding a heat lamp to the top of the enclosure. It's just a really, really small one. It's, it's pretty compact. My original plan for heating this tank was that I was going to use an, an under tank heater, just, just a heat strip attached to a thermostat. That was gonna be how I finished this tank and how I made you know, just, I made the really nice temperature gradients. I had it all planned out. Like this was gonna be like my warm, moist hide. That was gonna be like my cool, moist hide. And this was gonna be like a, like a warm, like a regular dry hide. And it was gonna be great. But I made a crucial error when building this tank. I put foam on the bottom of the enclosure. I was a noob. I realized looking back, I probably shouldn't have done that because that's insulating the bottom of the tank from the heat strip. I tested it with an under tank heater and it was just, it was having to work really hard to get the temperature that I wanted. And I just didn't like that. I don't feel like I wanna risk a fire hazard just to be heating this tank the way I wanted it. So instead, I'm using a very small heat lamp on the top and it's giving me some good results for the heating gradient. The temperature gradient is looking really nice. Like the place closest to the heat lamp, it gets, it gets about like 95 degrees. So like this upper level is warmer, but then I get down to the bottom, I'm measuring the caves. The caves are sitting at about mid to low 70s. And it's just like a, a bit of a gradient from warm to cool going down like that. And I like how it ended up and I think it's perfect to put my gecko in. All right, I have my box here, I'm at home. This is the new large addition to my family. Look at her, she's so beautiful. Oh, look, oh my God, she's the most beautiful leopard gecko I've ever seen. Wow, oh my God, I can't even believe she is so gorgeous. I have been very partial to the large leopard geckos ever since I knew they existed. I've never had a leopard gecko. This is my very first time. Oh, I'm just gonna pick her up. Oh, wow, she's squirming around. She's probably like, what is going on? She is beautiful and I love, look at that color. Look at that color. She's a mandarin and a blood, super giant leopard gecko. She's a very big girl. Somebody was, getting rid of their leopard geckos because they weren't doing projects anymore. And she was one of the ones who he was trying to find a new home for. And I knew this, this girl here was going to be, be my very first super giant leopard gecko. Can I see her? Yes. So my daughter and I have already thought of a name for her. Meet Sunshine. I love you, Sunshine. Oh. So cute. Let me pet you. Very gentle. Wow, Mama. Feel how smooth she is. She's very sweet. It's it, nice to have a gecko that we can actually hold, isn't it? Yeah. Do we have to wash our hands after? Oh, yes, always. Did you know that this type of gecko does not have sticky feet? I did. You did? How did you know that? I just did. 
because I saw that her feet were gray and she wouldn't go. And let me see she's those. Very let me beautiful. see those little cracks. Those are her ears. So I'm very happy to have Sunshine here in our home, and she's going to be a very beloved pet. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're going to take good care of you. And oh, do you like my nails? My little girl did my nails. They're very nice, aren't they? I'll go put Sunshine into her new quarantine tank where she's gonna stay for, you know, a little while just with some basic paper towel substrate so I can make sure she's eating, make sure she's uh, defecating, and make sure that she's healthy, which I'm sure she is, but it's a precaution that's a good precaution to take. Here she is. Meet Sunshine, and she's beautiful. She's colorful, she has a nice big fat tail, and she's awesome, and I'm so glad that she finally has a clean bill of health so I can show her off just a little bit. Now, I've been wanting a leopard gecko for a long time, but I can never really justify one because I already had, you know, a few tokay geckos. How am I gonna fit another creature in my little world, right? So making the vision cage was like the perfect excuse. Oh, I'm trying not to talk loud and you know, project right next to her like I usually do. The thing that interested me most actually were giants. There's just something about substantially sized geckos, which I just love. And it's why I like Tokay geckos so much. Tokay geckos are wonderful and huge and so cute and pretty, but they have a nasty bite. And it's totally not why I have band-aids all over my hands right now. It's from something else. Promise. As much as I just want to sit here and show this beautiful girl off, she probably doesn't like the bright lights that I use for filming to light up the room, and she's probably like, "What's going on?" Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get her in the terrarium. Plus, I don't like being so quiet. I might as well put her in. What do you think, cutie? Is it about time? And here we go. saying, hey, it's about time I got out of that quarantine tank, thanks. She's already checking out the, the succulent that I've already killed. Sorry to all the people who gave me a succulent's advice. That one right there, I watered it once, maybe, maybe just a little too much. It's, it's dead. Well, it's not happy. Sunshine's judging me. I'm very happy right now. I'm very pleased with how it turned out and I think she's gonna like it. I think it's a good habitat, but I overlooked one thing. I overlooked a food and water dish. Not like actually having one, because I have food and water dishes, obviously, but I overlooked get it, making like a custom one that would fit the beautiful look of my beautiful little terrarium. So these little food and water dishes clash with the decor. I think Sunshine might be a little offended when I put them in. I guess my next um, order of business is that I have to do something about that. I can't have clashing food and water dishes. My God, I guess they'll be okay for now. Add one more thing to the project list. What do you think, guys? I truly think this project is done besides the food and water dishes, but um, I'm pretty sure I'm ready to find like a permanent home for the tank because this is just my work desk that I'm sitting at right now. And this is gonna have its, its own special shelf, its own special place, probably up in my loft. And then I can start working on my next thing. So thanks so much for the people who voted for me to just get this done because I did and it felt nice. So thank you, except for the food and water dishes. <sighs> Now the next thing that people told me that I should just focus on, well, a lot of people had a lot of different thoughts, but one of the bigger thoughts, the more common thoughts, was that I should work on my steel tank rack. I should start preparing to reset that and to move fish off. Because in order to start breeding better fish again, I need a place to actually have my tanks and to stay organized. And so I really need to start working on the steel tank rack. So I'm gonna do it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to tell me what you think of Sunshine and her new terrarium. 
and how cute she is. If you haven't already, you can follow me on my social media. I have Instagram, I have a TikTok I haven't figured out how to use yet. I have a Discord that's kind of brand new. You should come check it out because I'm having a lot of fun chatting with everybody in Discord. Stay tuned for the next video where I start working on a tank rack, a fish tank rack, a rack to store many, many fish tanks. And I'm pretty excited about it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.